Fabulous. Hey, welcome back to Church Girls Want to Get Married To. And we will be doing readings from my book for book mass for Christmas. Some do blog mass. I'm doing book mass for Christmas and some readings from my book, 23 Tests of God. You might meet on social media. And uh, also from my other book, The Naked One. And this morning's reading is a question I get a lot. Where to meet high quality men? Please be sure to subscribe to uh, Church Girls Want to Get Married to also my other channel, Bible Girl, where we will be reading through the Bible in 2020 for the 2020 Bible Challenge. Please be sure to subscribe, share it out, invite a friend. Are you ready for Bible Challenge? 2020, my hair's sticking up. <laughs> 2020. And of course, it is the Christmas season, my favorite time of year. Jesus is the reason for the season. My favorite time of year. Not only do we get to celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, it reminds me of my grandmother. And we know Bible students, my Bible students, Jesus was not born on December 25th. It was only a day that was chosen to celebrate his birth. We don't know the exact day, but the important thing is that he was born. But we know the day that he died. You will learn more. Bible Challenge 2020 on my Bible Girl channel. Please be sure to subscribe and be ready for Bible Challenge 2020. Read through the Bible. All right. So, book mass from my book, 23 Times of Me on Social Media. Even though mentioned social media, this is not a book about online dating, okay? Uh, it is available on Amazon. It is available on my blog at JanetHiltonBlog.com. And also you will get a free sample on my blog. So where do you meet high quality men? Not just men, high quality. One of the questions I get asked a lot is how and where to meet good, high quality men. I still prefer meeting guys while I'm out and about rather than on social media. When I was ready for dating, after I had worked on myself and was sure that I knew what I wanted in my Psalm 23 prepared husband, I began to make daily confessions. Also, I fixed myself up, dressed better, wore more skirts, dresses, and bright colors, ladies. I was more open and gracious and embraced my femininity. I wanted to attract a high quality prepared man of God. Contrary to what we were taught in the church, the church is not the only place to meet your Boaz. There are saved, prepared, Psalm 23 men all over this world looking for their wives. So get out there and meet and date up. I used to confess before I left my house, I will meet my husband today. Something good is going to happen to me today. A nice, rich, saved man is going to see me and ask me out on a date. When I met a man that didn't have a prosperous and positive financial future and roadmap, I would drop him. <laughs> no need to waste time, girls. I don't do broke and struggling men, period. And ladies, you can learn a lot about a man by allowing him to talk. One of the things I had to do as a single woman was to expand my network. Remember, when the disciples were fishing all night and they caught nothing, Jesus came to them and said, cast your net out on the other side. If your network only includes the same old church folks, Hakeem down the street, Big P up the road, and the same sharks on your job who's trying to get your cookies, honey, you need to cast your net on the other side. So to meet high quality men, find where those men attend events and place yourself in that environment. Remember, I met my husband at a net working event. I love businessmen. So that was the perfect place for me. 
The men who attended had a certain mindset. I even went to expensive restaurants and sat alone and ate. And I had guys come up to me and chat and ask to share a table with me. I have been to restaurants that had a bar and sat there and watched the game along with the guys. Great conversation, opportunity to meet guys and fine tune your knowledge. Saved men are not only in our churches with 20 members. God has people all over and everywhere. Our home is in a beautiful community. And I was amazed when I went to the supermarket that I attracted guys. I'm married now, but if I had thought about it when I was single, I would have shopped at the upper class supermarkets. Recently, I woke up late and needed to drop the baby off and I had on my wineish color robes, sunflower rain boots, some shades, and my hair was standing up. But honeys, when I went to the supermarket, I was walking like I was on the runway. Three men approached me and complimented me, and two guys asked for my number. I was shocked. I couldn't believe it. The second guy said, you are beautiful, and your husband is a lucky man, LOL. I even took a picture and posted it on my Facebook because I couldn't believe that I was attracting guys in my bathroom. The guys said I was radiant and there was just something about me that drew them to me, to them. I do feel as if now that I'm married, I have become more gracious and confident. My husband tells me often how beautiful I am and gracious. So ladies, he causes me to feel graciously beautiful and feminine from the inside out. He brings out the best in me. I'm so grateful. Now princesses, please don't go out in your bathroom, lol. But what that spoke to me was that I was gracefully beautiful and feminine from the inside out. Princesses, deep down on the inside, Dig deep down on the inside and let your inner princess come out. Keep your standards high and never settle. Remember that you are in Christ and you are a new creation. You are walking in your royal anointing. Another example was after about three months of dating, my husband invited me, invited a few of his frat brothers and other friends to an elegant black tie a fear to meet me. He had to get there before I did because I remember, because remember I had my daughter and I had to get her settled. Plus he was speaking at the event. I remember walking in the entrance and he was standing there with his frat brothers all lined up. I was staring at him thinking, does he see me? I gave him that little sexy smile and that finger wave that we do make. At the same time, a few of the brothers were looking at me and nodded to each other, then shook his hand. He smiled and walked over and greeted me and whispered to me how beautiful and different I looked. Oh, honey, I clean up well, LOL. He happily introduced me to his frat brothers. And guess what, princesses? It was that night he told me he loved me. He also said to me that he knew about two months, for sh two months from dating for sure that he would marry me. So two months after he met me, he knew he would have married. That means he was thinking about it. I knew about two months into that I wanted to marry him. There is an upper class city, a few cities over that I love, love, love. It's like a version of New York. And often I would have lunch in one of the cute restaurants. When I went for a massage, that's where I would go. 
When I had to take my daughter to the dermatologist, I chose a doctor in that community. Plus, that's where I would like for us to purchase our dream home and for our kids to attend schools once they are finished with elementary school. And princesses, hubby has already agreed that we can move there. Also, search the events in and around your community. Try neighboring cities and see what events they have. I was a bit limited of what I could do because I was a single mom and it was just my baby girl and me, so I couldn't go far for too long. You can try conference centers, different clubs, as in different groups of people, golf clubs, art galleries, wine tasting, performing arts centers, Broadway plays or plays in your performing arts centers, or plays in your community. As an author, I have met a ton of guys at book signings and bookstores, and you know I love men who read. Go to the bookstores that have cafes and sit and read. Be poised, sit tall, smile, wear bright feminine colors. There are fewer brick and mortar bookstores today, but find a few where you can relax, read, and have a coffee. Some men like my husband love to read and visit bookstores. Sure, many people read books on tablets today, but you never know. Remember, the idea is to live and enjoy your life. If you are enjoying your life, it will radiate through you and you might meet your Boaz. What about luxury hotel restaurants? Not only when they have events, but in general, and read a book or work on your tablet or laptop. You might not want to go in the evening because you don't want to be mistaken for a working girl. I have done this. A very luxury hotel in my city has an escalator that gives a view of the whole downstairs. Dress up pretty, be chic, smile, be gracious and friendly. Find all the best restaurants and see if they're hosting any events. Look pretty, polished and classy. Be polite and let your beauty and femininity come through you. Remember, I met my husband at a networking event that was hosted by a restaurant that turned into a lounge on Friday night. I'm gonna skip around a little bit. Do you have an upper class female friend? Do you like yoga? Many upper class women go to yoga in their community. If you like yoga, go to a yoga in the upper class community and make friends. They might be able to introduce you to friends of theirs who would be potential husbands. Instead of going to the broke down gym around the corner, Invest in a good gym membership where high quality men work out. Side note, my husband just brought me my coffee and I asked him if a single woman wanted to meet a man like you, where would you tell her to go? He said cultural events, fraternity events where they are feeding the homeless and doing community events, toy draw, draw, drives, film festivals, professional networking events. No, you are not just going to possibly meet someone. This is about living and enjoying your life. And in doing so, you strategically place yourself to meet a possible prospect. High quality men can see through you if you're faking. Therefore, find what you love and enjoy and participate. Get up and get out of your house your job, and your church with your 20 members? Do you like operas? Are there any art exhibits at your local museum? When was the last time you went to a Broadway play? My husband went on to say, find organization that hosts annual events and attend. If you want to meet an accountant, then go to black accounting conferences. If you want to meet someone with an MBA, then attend the MBA conferences. Of course, this doesn't mean to only go to black events. If you begin to build your network, you will strategically place yourself in the right places. Also, you will align yourself with people who have common interests. Always be sweet as pie, gracious and feminine. Carry yourself like a princess and you will have no problem meeting high caliber men who adore rarity. So be rare and different.
and princesses, please do not sleep with any of these men. My father always said, some guys might sleep with you fast and sleep with you fast and lose women, but they most likely won't take them home to meet their mothers or wife them. See, they will lay with you, fill your head up with three promises of lies and get up and marry the girl that won't give it up. Remember that, please. Recently, my husband and I were invited to a dinner at a friend of his house. I was shocked at the caliber of single men who were there. As a single woman, I was never invited to any of those events. Why? None of those people were in my network. My husband has opened a whole other world for me that I didn't know existed as a single mom sitting in my little church with 20 folks praying for God to send my husband. The cookhouse I was invited to had the same old broke guys with empty promises still living in their mother's basement looking for a woman to take care of them. Princesses, all of this takes self-improvement and stepping out of your comfort zone. Remember to cast your net on the other side. If you, if what you have been doing is not working or yield the, seat, the results you need, then it's time for a change. In the meantime, you need to become a wisdom magnet. Improve your knowledge of current events and politics. Read various books. Get a little knowledge of sports. Honey, when you meet these high caliber men, you need to be able to hold a conversation. But if you don't know anything, then what exactly will you talk about? And I'm going to end there. There's more. But you can pick up the book on my blog at, at uh, JanisHiltonBlog.com. You can also get it on Amazon. So where to meet high caliber men? Find where they hang out and place yourself in their environment. Learn to speak. Learn to sit tall. Learn to be pretty. Learn to talk about modern events, what's on the news. And don't go running your mouth. Men like for you to listen to them so they can tell you how great they are. Okay? I love you. Please be sure to subscribe, share this out. Remember, Bible Challenge 2020 is coming out soon. Yeah. Love you. Got to go. Bye.